Big Games has blessed us with some major new leaks regarding Update 12, and I've gone through each of them to figure out what you need to know in order to be prepared. Now, this week has gone by really fast, and the back rooms are almost gone for good, so it is super important that you know what to expect on Saturday. And because we have at least eight leaks to go over in this video, we're going to structure it going from the least to most important regarding the market in the game. Now, if you are looking for what to be investing in for this update, I'm going to have a video out early tomorrow about what you should be buying and what you should be doing in order to take full advantage of all of the new stuff that we are getting. Now, as always, if you want to see these leaks before I actually talk about them in these videos, you can find them over on my Discord as well as daily huge giveaways, so there's really no reason you shouldn't be on there already. We also do a ton of discussion on just the market and trading in general, so it's also just a good hub for that. But I do also have a lot of leftover stuff that I still need to give away from the 10,000 subscriber opening. So if you subscribe and like the video and comment your Roblox username, I'll be sending that out to a few of you in the comments. But let there be no more delay. Let's go over all of this new stuff that we can expect in this update on Saturday. Now, if it hasn't been clear already, we finally have confirmation that World 3 is coming this Saturday. And along with it seems to be coming quite a bit of content. Now, I'm going to be showing some pictures of this new world in just a second, but it seems like the name of this is going to be the Void World. Now, as you guys probably know, in each world, we get a chest that we can open with a key as well as a spinny wheel. So in World 1, we have the crystal chest and the regular spinny wheel. And then in the World 2, which is the tech world, we have the tech chest and then the tech spinny wheel. So, of course, in the same fashion, we are getting a brand new Void Key void chest and a void spinny wheel with this update now i'll have a picture on the screen here of all three of these things but these do look absolutely cool so i'm very excited to see what kind of things that we are going to get in this new chest as well as the brand new spinny wheel now i'm actually hoping there's some cool stuff that we can actually get in the new spinny wheel because it seems like everybody just pretty much skipped over the tech spinny wheel and i haven't seen anybody talk about it since that update actually came out but these actually aren't the only chests that we're getting we actually have three brand new chests coming in this update next up we have this prison chest along with the prison key now you're going to be noticing with this new update we're actually getting a lot of prison themed stuff so this actually isn't the end of it but since we're already getting the void chest and the void spinny wheel we're not too certain on where we're actually going to be able to open this prison chest so it's going to be interesting to see where this is actually going to be at what i'm hoping for is this is actually some sort of new prison event maybe some sort of prison escape thing and maybe we could potentially even get like a free to play huge with it which would be absolutely awesome because we actually have been on a pretty good streak of getting a lot of free to play huges added to the game so it'd be actually pretty cool if big games did continue this streak because that's pretty much the only thing that's been holding back inflation from going absolutely crazy in the game it seems like that's kind of big game strategy at this point is to just have a bunch of free to play huges that people are able to get and that way huge prices don't go absolutely crazy so along with those two new chests and keys, we also have this third mysterious key that we're actually not too certain what it's going to be used for. Now, as you guys can see on the screen, to me, this actually kind of looks like the castle key that we used to unlock the castle in World 1. So I'm wondering if this new key is going to actually open up some physical door that gives us access to some new content. Maybe one of these new chests, like the prison chest, might be behind the door. And we could potentially be getting this new key from when we rebirth in the new area. Now, obviously, this is all just speculation. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think this key is used for, because I've seen a lot of theories going around. Now, if those first three leaks were the least important of the ones on this list, you can only expect what the rest of these are going to be. And the fourth leak that we're going over are actually these brand new clan rewards. So as you guys know, our last clan battle ended last Saturday. So this Saturday, we are going to be getting a brand new clan battle, which means brand new clan rewards for those top performing clans. Now, I'll have them on the screen here, but we got a brand new hoverboard, a brand new booth, as well as a brand new fragmented Dominus. 
Now, I also saw a leaker called the clan battle the fragmented battle, so I'm not sure if the actual quest or the objective of the battle is going to have something to do with this fragmented theme. Honestly, that could just be the aesthetic of all the stuff that we get, and the clan battle could have absolutely nothing to do with it, or maybe it has something to do with this potential new prison event that we might be getting. But either way, it sounds like it's going to be a pretty exciting clan battle to say the least. And honestly, at this point in the game, the clan battles have probably the most significant impact on what the economy is going to be doing. So you guys know for sure I'm going to be interested in what this new clan battle is going to be. Now, these leaks are just getting juicier and juicier. Next up, we actually have the first image leak that we have of the new world. So going with that prison theme that I was talking about earlier in the video, Big Games released this first image, which basically shows the new eggs in the spawn of the new world that we're getting. Now, as you can see on the left side of the screen, there is a prison. So they're really leaning into this cops and robbers kind of theme for this area. Keep in mind that Big Games said they are going to do these sorts of themes for each of the new areas that they add in each week so i don't think this whole world is going to be themed like a prison i think only this week's areas are going to be that prison theme which honestly i think is a very good idea from big games to have these weekly themes for these updates now i'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see in this screenshot but way in the back we can see that there are going to be four new eggs now this is actually really interesting because we did get a leak earlier in the week that actually had five eggs so we could potentially be getting a brand new egg in whatever potential event that could be in the game. We actually just have no idea where this fifth egg is at. So we're not entirely sure why they would make a fifth egg if it's not going to be one of the new stat pet eggs. Now this second image from Big Games is actually where it gets really juicy because Big Games is actually showing us the first new area in this void world. And we could see on the little screen where it typically says how much it costs to move on to the next area. It actually says that you need to break a certain amount of breakables. So this would be a complete switch around from Big Games because every previous area that we've ever had cost you a certain amount of coins and you could be able to move on to the next area. But it seems like in this new update, they're actually changing it around to be very specific quests. So I guess this is going to mitigate and hopefully slow down players from just speed running the new areas, which I actually think is a very good idea from big games because people can actually slow down and enjoy the brand new areas instead of just speed running every single time an update comes out. And I also have a feeling that since there are a lot less areas, they're going to make it so you need a lot of damage to actually go through these different levels. So I have a huge feeling that strong stat pets are going to definitely be needed with this new update. And we could actually potentially see a new use for all of these new damage enchants that we got. Now this next leak is probably what you guys are most interested in because we got this brand new leak about a new exclusive enchant that has completely flipped the enchant market. I'll have it on the screen here but this is called the superior chest mimic and a lot of people are speculating and think that this is going to completely replace the chest mimic enchant which was currently about like 1.8 billion diamonds before this leak came out and now it's just sitting at just under 1.2 billion so in just 24 hours this thing has dropped like 600 million which is absolutely insane I'll probably be talking about this more in my investment video tomorrow, but I don't know why people are freaking out. I have a strong feeling that the superior chest mimic is not going to replace the regular chest mimic at all. I think a lot of people were very confused by the name of it. And when they heard it's called the superior chest mimic, they're thinking that that superior means it's going to be better than the regular chest mimic but i think people are very mistaken with this because big games doesn't use these names in terms of adjectives meaning that i'm almost 99 percent sure this name doesn't mean it's better than the chest mimic it's just the name of the type of chest mimic it is you could basically compare this to something like the boss chest mimic the boss chest mimic is not the boss version of the regular chest mimic the boss chest mimic spawns boss chests. So I think people are very mistaken and I think this new enchant is going to be spawning superior chests and it's not going to be a superior chest mimic. I don't think that explanation really made sense at all so I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. But all of that being said, this enchant still could be very good. It could be something like the boss chest mimic for example. 
But if anything, I think this new enchant is going to be used with the chest mimic still. So I don't think there's any reason why people should be panic selling their regular chest mimics. Because I have a feeling that when this new enchant comes out and people realize that you can use both of the enchants at the same time and there's no reason to replace the regular chest mimic, then the price is likely to go right back to where it was before. Now to further even support this argument, we actually have this picture which is a picture of the superior chest like in action. So this looks like it's going to be the breakable version of the superior chest that's going to be in the breakables area. And I'm also pretty certain that all of the buffs from the breakables mastery isn't going to affect this new enchant at all either. So if I were you guys, I would at least hold your chest mimics till this new update comes out because I don't think the chest mimic is going anywhere anytime soon. Now there are actually a ton of leaks with this new update so I hope I didn't forget anything but I think this is the very last one and it's kind of not really a leak but it's something that the devs included in their last dev blog from update 11. But as you can see in this dev blog they specifically mentioned that this is going to be the very last week that you can buy anything from the backrooms pack. So if we pull up the backrooms pack here this essentially means that all of this stuff that is in the backrooms pack like these exclusive enchants the corruption and the nightmare orb are probably no longer going to be available forever. And along with that, the huge blue cat, as well as the huge purple cat, and then the two free to play huges that we got in this backrooms event. So obviously, I guess this one's not so much of a leak because we probably knew that the backrooms pack was no longer going to be available after the backrooms were gone for sure. But it's definitely something to mention, especially if you are going to be investing in the market. A lot of these things will likely rise in value as they are no longer going to be obtainable in the game. Now, that was a lot of new content that we are going to be getting in this update so let me know down below what your favorite part about it was and if you have any ideas about what certain things might be able to do if we do get any new leaks after i upload this video then i'll be talking about it in my market analysis video tomorrow thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one and peace out